For over a thousand years, pilgrims have been making their way on foot to the Spanish city of Santiago de Compostela, the resting place of the remains of St. James. About 2.5 million people a year visit Santiago, over 200,000 of them walking the Camino, a pilgrimage across France and Spain. Traditionally, the Camino de Santiago should begin from the front door of your home. If you happen to live 50 kilometres away from the cathedral, that was all you walked. If you live in Nottingham, like me, walking from your doorstep would take an inordinate amount of time. In fact, plenty of people in Europe do begin from their homes, a few weeks at a time over a number of years. We are the pèlerins de, de France. Et nous avons commencé le chemin en 2010 et tous les ans nous faisons 15 jours sur le chemin. So where did I begin my Camino? In 2013, I walked 116 kilometers from Saria to Santiago in five days. This Easter, my challenge was to walk 90 kilometers in four days across hills, mountains and rivers from Santiago to Finisterre, the end of the world. So it's day one, usually we'd walk about 20 kilometers in one day, but since we arrived in Santiago at midday, we're only walking 10 kilometers. Pilgrims from every background are today drawn to the Camino from all over the world. Uh, the language in the way is the English because it's easy for different cultures Korean people, Canadian people, uh, Germany, uh, Na uh, Namibia other people it's possible to speak in English and this is a good experience to other people uh, because uh, we have many languages but we are only one people What is common to them all is that they have left behind all that is familiar to them in order to wake each day to a new stretch of road. No two pilgrims are likely to experience or to understand the Camino in exactly the same way. Some will have walked 100 kilometers, some 500, some more than a thousand. Why do they do it? This documentary seeks to answer that very question. When you sit down with people around a table with dinner, they, they are very open to share what the reasons why they do the Camino. I was fed up with my life and then I really wanted to go out of my comfort zone. I just want to get some confidence because I came here by myself. I want to conquer one big thing in my life. Porque es una forma de liberarse de sus problemas, aprovechan las vacaciones, otras culturas, conocer otras culturas distintas. It is essential to travel as light as possible, as everything you need is to be carried on your back whilst walking roughly 20 kilometers each day. As a filmmaker, I had an excessive amount of equipment. By the 12th and 13th centuries, half a million Christian pilgrims made their way to and across northern Spain and back each year. They did this to be granted a miracle by St. James and to transform their lives in some way. When they returned, they would be treated as local celebrities within their community. Yellow arrows, painted, sprayed or carved, guide the pilgrim on their journey. But why is the scallop shell the emblem of the Camino? Why is it depicted on each and every signpost? One story relates to a troubled man being rescued from the sea by St. James. When the drowning man was lifted from the fury of the waves, scallop shells clung to his clothing. This shell became an emblem for St. James and also the trials of being a pilgrim.
accommodation tends to be scattered around the 15 to 20 kilometer marks, so it is worth finding out where each albergue or refugio is before you start your trip. Refugios or albergues come in all shapes and sizes. Most hostels are made up of mixed dormitories with simple bunk beds. Your pilgrim's passport is what gets you into a refugio. This passport has spaces for stamps obtained from different establishments during the day. These stamps work as proof that you have walked a certain distance. Hand in the passport at the end of your journey if you have walked a certain number of kilometers to receive a certificate. like more than 10 I, and we met together in Santiago which is the destination of this journey and then we celebrated together and it was quite the um, biggest interest for me. The Way is an inspirational film about Tom, a man who decides to walk the Camino after collecting the remains of his adult son, killed in a Pyrenees storm whilst walking the Camino. What Tom doesn't plan on is the profound impact the journey will have on his life. In the film, Tom and his newfound friends find it impossible to stop walking after reaching Santiago. As I walked the last 100 kilometers in 2013 from Saria to Santiago, it only seemed right that for my second pilgrimage, I continue my journey from Santiago to what pagans believe to be the end of the world. Because I'm in love with the sea, and I, we started in Porto at the sea, and I thought it's, or we, yeah, we wanted to finish it. I thought that I could find um, the answer that I wanted to find when I get to Santiago, but I couldn't. So I just decided to go further to Finisterre to get my answers and I need some time to think about myself. The two thirds at the end, I think as well, and the fact that it was out of the sea. There is a well-known saying that the Camino begins when you reach the end. The sense of achievement that you get from completing such a journey is it's, it's indescribable. Life is a journey in itself, and I aim to walk my life's journey with the same enthusiastic and gutsy determination as I walk the Camino. Why did I walk the Camino? Well, for that very reason. Ah!